Well guys, today we have a review of the smart watch from Huawei, which is Huawei Watch 3. Actually, Huawei Watch 3, you've got the Pro version, you've got the GT version, and this is somewhere in between. It's based on Harmony OS 2.0, actually the Huawei team is just preparing uh, Har Harmony OS 3, which should be launched soon for European and international market, for Chinese versions already updating. So let's go one by one, let's have a brief review of these watches, and I will just share my experience wearing them for two months. So you've got this uh, wireless charger, actually it's quite a regular charger, what's showed here is 5 volts, 2 ampere, I don't know whether you see it, yeah, focus is here. So 5 volts, uh, 2 ampere. Basically 10 watts, uh, which is, looks like this, magnet, so just quite regular one, and unfortunately they're not charging from the, uh, from the charging port, so it's only charging using this uh, charging that go, uh, goes with these watches. Yeah, it's just USB regular charger, quite heavy actually. I think it's fine, but better is they make just regular, regular wireless charging, so you can just charge it from any wireless charging device or even from your phone. I've got one plus, it has a reverse charging mode, so basically it should work, but not with these watches. All right, so uh, the price right now is around 250 bucks. I think yes, it's definitely worth it, but let's talk about how they look like. Let's uh, scroll, scroll them down a bit and I will share my experience. So basically, that's how they look like. I put this watch face, which I like, but yeah, you have uh, really plenty of them. Uh, so here you've got from the left, you have the assistance, which is, uh, I'm not truly using it. Uh, I, it's not Chinese, it's supporting English, maybe even on other languages, but yeah, truly speaking, I don't use it. Also, uh, what you've got here is the music control. Yeah, it's quite convenient. You can put a decrease or increase the volume. Uh, you can use all uh, another functions that you want. Uh, basically, yeah, I'll put the phone out for now because we don't need it, so I'll focus on watches itself. Uh, all right. Also, what we've got, so it's only from left side. If you scroll here, we have notification. I will not show my, my notification right now, but there, there. Um, also, when you scroll from top to down, you've got the train battery, ultra long life battery mode, airplane mode, settings, Wi-Fi, vibration, screen on, alarm, find phone, uh, do not disturb mode, sleep, and flashlight. And also shows the battery status, Bluetooth status, and date and time. Uh, actually, yeah, from this point of view, that's it. Let's scroll uh, to left side, you've got the activity, you've got the rate uh, in BPS, like heart rate. If you've got the saturation, actually, that is SpO2 level, blood oxygen saturation, so it's also measuring it. It was a really good option when the COVID came. Uh, also, you've got temperature, but it's skin temperature, so in the new version, uh, they uh, actually in a third version they updated it and it's not showing only skin temperature but it's showing approximate indicator of regular temperature. In this version, uh, oxygen, uh, not oxygen, no, sorry, uh, Harmony OS 2 is showing only the skin temperature which is not convenient, you need to convert it, it should be between 32 and 34. Uh, Celsius degrees, which is not really useful option, but yeah, it's available here. They set it as uh, like their feature, but yeah, I don't think it's really useful for now. You can you can also customize it, add some activities, etc. But yeah, I will not focus on it right now. So what we've got here: workout option. Basically, many workout options are available. Agree. Uh, so you've got running courses, you've got uh, outdoor run, indoor run, outdoor walk, indoor walk, cycling, sweep, pool swimming, open water swimming, jump rope, mountain hike and many many others. So you see the amount of uh, options for your sport are really huge. So I think it will be convenient who, use, who will use these watches for sports activity. Uh, you've got the workout records, you've got the workout status, so I think uh, recovery time. Uh, also activity records, 
phone, so it's built in microphone and built in uh, uh, dynamic, ba basically the speakers that you can use. So just show you briefly here. Here you have the speaker and here you've got the microphone. Also the sensor from the back and uh, from right side you've got two bottoms. This one is like a Apple Watch bottom, let's say. Yeah, you can scroll like this. So that is quite nice features that they finally added so and it's working <laughs> yeah uh, so you got this strap which is uh, strap that is not that bad actually quality but you can easily replace it here um, yeah and the quality of watches is quite nice that's how it fits on my uh, on my hand actually my arm so that's how it is all right let's move on let's move on with our functions So you've got contacts, you've got music, heart rate, sleep, SPO2, stress test, breathing exercises, weather, wallet, which is actually useless, it doesn't work in any countries, I think, except China. Alarm clock, stopwatch, timer, compass, barometer, notepad, settings, app gallery, calculator, navigate, and this is all apps that I've installed later on. So, the main feature actually is app gallery and Wi-Fi connectivity. Okay, let me show you first the setting. Got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile network and of course you can use a SIM card here. That is also quite nice option that was not available for all the watches for 250 bucks. So you can put your yeah, yeah, SIM card. Uh, Alright, uh, more connections. What they've got? NFC, tech to pay which is useless, watch faces. Yeah, I've got some pre-installed watch faces that are actually quite nice and you have huge variety if you install the Huawei app. It's quite many available. Actually, I will change to this one. It just looks really nice. But now no data. <laughs> Alright. Uh, custom tiles. Yeah, I showed you you can customize the display and brightness. So its brightness is more or less enough uh, if you use it on the sun. Or if you use it uh, during the sleep, you want to check the time and it will be automatically put it to low or in the sun it will be automatically put it to, uh, to a high position. Screen time and sleep time also can be selected. Sound and vibration. So vibration is quite nice here. The sound is also, the volume is actually high. So you can uh, listen music from this device. You can connect your... Uh, Bluetooth headphones and also we use it uh, as a mp3 player let's say yes yeah, iPod uh, also quite good option I uh, put to mute so use only vibration mode you have to not disturb haptic and cell broadcast notifications yes yeah, that's one of the disadvantages that notification came actually quite well but it's not showing any pictures you have the keyboard to feedback to your notification but yeah no images is uh, i don't really like comparing even to the App apple watch or samsung pin code apps battery is a battery life yeah time left three days actually this is true so it's enough uh, for three days with more or less average usage with active usage i think it's about two days and in all the super saving modes you can it can be not charged for uh, maybe five six days yeah ultra better um uh, shows 14 days so you can see the power consumption same as on the phone hardware software power saving features always on display rise to wake out to disable mobile data uh Huawei assistant accessibility features yeah actually hand washing even available hand washing detection uh, down bottom so you can select this button what you want to do with this so if you click you can choose which app will or will come up uh, workout settings it just auto detect work and system and updates uh, so you need to yeah Wi-Fi not connected cancel so this version I have right now to Harmony OS 2.1 uh, Settings, so it's just auto download, updates, etc. Nothing special date and time, disconnect, restart, reset, etc. All right, so basically, what I want to underline uh, battery life is really good, it's three days uh, for the watches. You have all the functions except one function that I don't like is no pictures actually. 
uh, the style is nice, the battery is good, it works with iPhone, it works with uh, iOS app, basically it works with any device that you connect, I think. You can listen music from this device, it has a SARA member 16GB of memory, so you can download apps and you can add some music here and listen from this device. Uh, what uh, the last thing what I wanted to show is the app itself, so Bluetooth connected. Let's open Huawei Health app and show how it looks like. Uh, Alright, so what we've got here, we have devices, Huawei Watch 3. Mm, it asks for location, alright, location is here. So what it shows, battery status, taps uh, and some sport information, watch faces. Watch faces need internet, but yeah, trust me, it's more than uh, I guess 500 or 1000 even watch faces. Health monitoring here, so you can select this whole way through sleep option. Activity reminder, continuous heart rate monitoring, automatic stress test, SPO calculation, and skin temperature measurement. Music, we yeah, just control the music. And another function, notification, you can select. Uh, uh, is SIM management wallet actually SIM is working wallet doesn't work quick replies you can select here but you also have keyboard or voice messages can be recorded and some other like device settings uh, that app management Bluetooth disconnection reminder etc all right let me connect Bluetooth uh, let me connect to Wi-Fi sorry and I will show you the app gallery and function available through the app uh, gallery all right, you see here app gallery, it's loading right now and you can install actually any APK file so you can find some files in the internet and also install it here because it has a regular Android which called Harmony OS, let's say. So what we have here, translator, edit as a camera, so you have to use a camera control which is actually also not built-in function, you need to install on your phone a special software for camera and install this software on your watches which is also not convenient I think so two disadvantages I can underline no picture notification and no camera control by default uh, so you've got plenty of apps calculator store store car cards uh, what songs so it's like Shazam radio workout apps, uh, voice recorder, etc. So as you see, the amount of apps is increasing. Uh, it's actually limited, yeah, maybe around 200 apps, as you see here. But still, it's more than enough, so you can install any APK file and use it. You have enough memory, it's maybe half of the apps are not really useful. Uh, for now, you have Guitar Turner, Tick Tick, etc. So, audiobooks. Basically, you can have majority of apps that you really need uh, here. But, yeah, it's still not that convenient as Apple Watch optimized to Apple when you have, uh, for example, WhatsApp app or Facebook app here. Of course, it's not available because Huawei is uh, not allowing it actually to use here. All right, let's sum up, let's sum up. The watches are really good for its price, uh, 250 bucks, it's a really good option. If you have Huawei device, I think it will be actually perfect watches for your Huawei device, it will work really good. You, uh, your device and those watches will have Harmony OS and they will work perfectly. You will have this camera control, probably even see notifications with pictures, but yeah, it works really good. If you have Android device, it works not bad, the, tem the battery life is good and in general it also fit well. For iOS, basically it's not the best choice, yeah, I would definitely not recommend to buy it. For 200 bucks you can buy the cheapest uh, uh, Apple Watch SE for example and it will have much, much better functions and uh, usability with your devices. Alright, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions regarding these watches, uh, put them in the comments below and see you next time.